for the word of God. Thank you, amen. I'm telling you, amen. As long as God has blessed us with the word, the word gives us strength. The word gives us hope. Yes. The word, amen, revigorates us. Amen. I don't know if you missed it this morning or not, but amen. Um, the spiritual vitamin this morning was out of Psalm 113. Psalm 113. Amen. Did you get it, Sister Teresa? Psalm 113. Psalm 113. <laughs> amen. What a, what a great word. Amen. As we bless the Lord. Amen. This morning. Amen. Well, tonight, amen, I want to talk about something. Amen. Before we pray. Uh, that's going to be uh, interesting on how we're going to take some points on how we get victorious over the enemy. Yeah. Amen. And how he blesses us. If you'll stand with me, we'll pray in the name of the Lord. Ask God to bless us. Just want to say amen to everybody that's watching. Thank the Lord as we celebrate on the day. Blessings, Brother Kevin Hughes. Amen. Come on in. We celebrate Brother Mike's home. Brother Mike. Amen. Amen. Blessed him and touched him. He still got to do some rehab time in late July. He went back to the house of the Lord. So he's lost a lot of weight. Amen. 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 Come on in, Cousin Brenda, Keisha, and Brother Bell. The Lord bless you, man. Brother Bell is always on the bus. Yeah, he is. Amen. He is. All right. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, 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 we just thank the Lord for all that he's doing. Thank you, Sister Teresa. Amen. So, God is good to all that will call upon his name. Amen. Amen. So let's pray and ask God to bless us. Eternal God, we just thank you for your grace. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. We thank you for your truth. Knowing, God, that your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. We pray, God, that you will continue, Lord yes, God, God, to Hallelujah. feed us the word of God. That yes, you will instruct God. us in righteousness, that you will lead us and guide us, Lord God. Thank we thank you, thank you for safe traveling you. mercies, Lord, as we arrive to the house of the Lord to bless yes. you and to praise you yes. and to know about you, God. We are honored, Lord yes, God, God. that you chose us, hallelujah, thank you, to put your spirit in us in the name of the Lord, that you be glorified, that you be lifted up, God, that you be exalted. Now, God, we pray, Lord, that you give us the spirit of wisdom, yes. knowledge, and understanding. Yes. That you cause us to be victorious, God, over all the powers of darkness. Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus Thank Christ, you, watch out over our families, yes. our children, Lord God. Bless our ministry. Yes. Draw us, God, closer to Amen. you. Bless this Bible study on tonight. Yes, those who are watching, those who are part of our ministry, those who are faithful in their watching, Thank bless you. them in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Clap for the Lord. Amen. 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 I want to just thank everybody for their support. Amen. For my my aunt's room. Amen. Amen. And how the Lord blessed us to preach the word of God. Amen. And how there's so many people. Amen. Calls. Amen. And how so many people came out and said uh, they got something from the word of God. That's what you want. Amen. 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 Do something for you. Yes, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Tonight. We're going to look at, here's a topic we're going to talk about tonight. Uh, overcoming Satan's hindrance. Oh, good sir. Overcoming Satan's hindrance. Mm -hmm. and, uh, how to overcome yes, Satan's hindrance. And uh, we're in the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 17 and 18. And, uh, uh, the Bible teaches us that the devil will always try to hinder us. Whenever you're trying to do the will of God and you're trying to do the work of the Lord, you will always, amen, try to bring a hindrance to yes, the people of God. And uh, we cannot allow, amen, the enemy amen. to stop us from doing God's will. Yes. Amen. So uh, whatever God calls you, to salvation, to ministry, to calling you deeper, 
or maybe you're just trying to get a closer walk with God. Yes, sir. Satan will always try to hinder you from your efforts. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why the Apostle Paul writes and says, when I go to do good, evil is always present. Mm -hmm. And the devil will always so, try to yeah. convince you and stop you from completing the assignment that God has That's on right. your life. Always. Amen. But I want you to know that if God be for you, <laughs> who can be against you? No. Amen. 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 God is on our side. Amen. And so Amen. you'll find that uh, uh, and so since it's here, I'm going to read verses 17 and 18. That's our study scripture. The book of First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 17 and 18. And just read that and then I'm going to, I'm going to strip that apart and, uh, and then I'm going to give us uh, some points of overcoming Satan's hindrance. Amen. But we, mm -hmm. brethren, have been taken away from you for a short time in presence, not in part, endeavored more eagerly to see your face with great desire. Therefore, we wanted to come to you, even I, Paul, time and again, but Satan hindered us. Yes, and so Satan will hinder when you're trying to do right for God. Thank you, Brother Bell. Brother Bell wrote 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 17 and 18. Brother Bell, we're going to get you over here. I'm going to get you over here with me. <laughs> the name of the Lord. going to yeah, fly yeah. you out from Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> get you over here with us. Amen. Amen. And uh, you pray about it in the name of the Lord. See what the Lord tells you. Amen. So, so uh, Paul writes, and he, he realized Arkansas. There we go. Arkansas. Sorry, not Alabama. Don't pray about Alabama. I pray about Arkansas. <laughs> not too far away. Arkansas. Amen. I know you want to get away from that governor. Yeah. yeah. Big time. <laughs> Sarah. Amen. So, uh, I'm just going to give you some backstory. Amen. The Apostle Paul, with his helper Silas, found at the church of Thessalonica on his second missionary trip. In the book of Acts of the Apostles, or chapter 17, and uh, we're going to read through that. And uh, my wife's going to read verse 1, 2, and 3. In the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 17, and then we're going to talk about the devil's hindrance. He's always trying to stop us from doing what God wants to do. Honey, you're going to read verses 1, 2, and 3, and then uh, Deacon Fred's going to read verses uh, 4, 5, and 6, and then uh, Sister Therese is going to read 7, 8, and 9, and then uh, Brother Charles is going to read verse 10. Acts, Acts chapter 17, they're going to read verse 1 through 10, and you only have one verse, Brother Charles, verse 10, because you're operating operate the camera, and you're, you're, you're busy, and so I know <laughs> that I don't want to put too much on you. <laughs> okay, why don't you listen to this, it's how the church was found. Now when they had passed through... Good evening, Sister Christine Hughes. Polis. In Apollonia, mm -hmm. they came to Thessalonia, where it was a where it was a synagogue of the Jews. And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them, and three Sabbath days reasoned with them out of the scriptures. Yes, and so as he travels on his second missionary term, he comes into uh, Greece. Mm -hmm. And as he comes into Greece, he uh, opens up the scriptures mm -hmm. and he begins to uh, expound on the word of God. And here's what he was talking. Opening and alleging that Christ must needs have suffered and risen again from the dead, and that this Jesus, whom I preach unto you, is Christ. Yes, good evening, Brother Mike and Sister Asante. So he, he preached, don't you notice here, he preached the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. You can't preach power or the gospel except you're preaching the death, burial, and resurrection. Yeah, that's right of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All right? And some of them believed and consorted with Paul and Silas. And of the devout Greeks, a great multitude, and of the chief women, not a few. But the Jews, which believed not, moved with envy, took unto them certain lewd 
fellows of the baser sort yes. and gathered a company and set all the city on an uproar and assaulted the house of Jason and had sought to bring them out of the uh, people. And when they found them not, they drew Jason and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city, crying, These that have been turned the world upside down are come hither also. Mm -hmm. And so that's the power of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. They say they who have turned the world upside down. They preach that right. Two people. Yeah. They turned the world upside down. The world's in an uproar. Because the power of God is doing things and people are being saved and yes, people sir. are being delivered. Yep. It's the power of God. And so whenever God is doing something, there's always the enemy trying to stop oh. what God is doing. And every time he tries to stop what God is doing, God proves to him that he's still in control. Yes, yes sir. Amen. Amen. And so you, you can't expect for God to, to do something with your life and not try to be hindered by the devil. That's right, Pastor. Right? He's going to try to stop it. That's why those of you, uh, just one second, Citrus, those of you who are in positions and, and you're trying to do something for God and for God's kingdom, and you're trying to do something and trying to do what's right for God, and you run into opposition, and then yes. you get all frustrated because you're in the opposition. Well, honey and sir, ma'am, you might as well just thank God because the opposition is is actually is actually is the, the revelation that you're doing what you're supposed to do. And so don't think that you can do nothing that's going to run correctly yes. and smoothly because it's not going to happen. No. Because there's always going to be some base or sword. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. No, the base or sword is a base of those who like to stir up trouble. Right. Right? Yeah. Those who like to stir up trouble and those who, 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 who can come after you. Mm -hmm. Right? And some lewd people. It's always going to try to stop. But I, as a woman, 20, almost 25 years saved, God will always give you the victory. How many know God will give you the Always, always. Come on in, Sister Beverly, Sister Natalie, and Lakeisha Cannon. Y'all come on in. Hear, hear, hear ye, Sister Teresa. <laughs> yeah. Acts 17 and the 7th verse. Mm -hmm. Jason has harbored them, and these are all acting contrary to the decrees of Caesar, saying there is another King Jesus. And they troubled the crowd and the rulers of the city when they heard these things. So when they had taken security from Jason and the rest, they let them go. Yes, and so they stirred up and they grabbed Jason of Jason House where they were having church, and he was the one that was helping them. And so when you start to help the man of God and the people of God, it's going to, the devil get mad because mm -hmm. he's trying to he's trying to he's trying to stop. Yeah. But God, that's why you got to understand that there's nothing that you do is not important to the work of the kingdom. That's right, right. Right? And the more you try to do to help the kingdom, the more the devil can fight you. Yes, so, so, ain't no need for you throwing your towel in and I don't want to do this and I don't want to quit. You ain't right. doing that because that's just God showing you in the right place doing the right thing. Now, here what the problem was. They, they, they were upset. They tried to get the Jews upset. And, and they said, and she, she read over kind of quickly, and, and she said, the decrees of Caesar saying that there is another king, one Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, they were saying there's another king besides Caesar, which is one king called Jesus. Amen. And he is king of king and lord of lords. Right? So they, they, they felt like if they put pressure on them to talk about Caesar, then they would come and fight against him. Okay, Brother Charles, you ready? Yep. Okay. It's at 10, right? Mm hmm. Uh, the brothers immediately sent Paul and Sias away by night to Berea. Berea mm -hmm. And when they arrived, they went into the Jewish synagogue. Yes. And so, as a result, thank you, Brother Charles. Amen. As a result, amen, um, they said, we got to get Paul out of here. Silence out of here because the enemy is going to try to kill him. And we're not going to let that happen. Amen. And God's not going to let it happen, right? Until their time is finished. I want you to know the devil can't stop you or take you out until you're finished doing what God wants you to do. That's right. That's what I tell the devil. No, I, I, I'm not ready to go yet. God said so. I got Amen. a lot more that God put on my heart to That's do. Good. That's put good. in my mind to do a lot that God told me to do. Amen. And I'm not going nowhere. No. Right. I mean, that's why I know God's going to get ready to release to me a building that's a property. Amen. 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 Amen.
Yeah. He can try. He can try to. He can try to hinder. He can try to. Mm-hmm. I don't care if he makes. I don't care if he makes. He makes the the, the, the interest rate go up to nine point nine percent or ninety nine percent. I don't care if he he tries to balloon the prices. I don't care what he tries to do. Right. When God is ready, he can step in. Yeah. And yeah. Right. Amen. 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 I, I, well, anybody know who you believe? I already know. Who I, yeah. Amen. Amen. I already know. That's right. When I spoke that, I felt chills all my own. I already know. God's right. Yeah. 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 Brother Pedro, I already know. You know it. Right. God's going to do it. Right. Right. God's going to do it. Why? Because there's, a, there's some of us that believe God. Yes. Yeah. And there's some of us that, that not, they're not trusting Amen. what the enemy's telling you. Right. There's some of us that know that God is on the way. Amen. Watch this, Natasha. There's some of us that know that we can do all things through Christ oh, that strengthens yeah. us. Yeah. Right? We gotta go through it. Right? And so yeah. we know we're gonna wait on the Lord. And when the Lord releases it, it's gonna be a blessing. I'm gonna yeah. shout yeah. around here. You're gonna shout and I'm gonna say, You know, you know. You know, when he was one of the ones just sitting in the church, just one, two, three of us. Yeah. Amen. And I said, Don't worry about it. I said, watch me keep preaching the gospel. You sure did, and you man. see what the Lord did. Yeah. Watch God start adding to the church. Yeah. Adding to the church. Hey, look where you see more people. Amen. Right? Because God adds to the church. Amen. All you got to do is keep on trusting God. Amen. Keep on working for God. Hey, come on in, see the jeans. See the jeans with me here, but see the jeans at a talent show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tyree sang in a middle school. Uh, 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 Gene, what song did y'all sing? <laughs> oh, I trust in God. Amen. Tyree, and I know that they did up something. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Tyree is getting baptized. Yeah. Lord yeah. willing, on Sunday. Yeah. Two o'clock. Yeah. In the name of the Lord. Going down in water in the name of Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. 14 That's years a old. Young man. Yeah. Amen. Lord. What the Lord. God's going to use him. Amen. Over at the. Uh, YMCA. You know, the water ain't right for me to go out there to the river. Yeah. <laughs> it's about July. <laughs> hey, Becca. Lord bless you. Yeah, I know y'all did good, Gene. Amen. So, so Paul says, now, the devil, I see what the devil's trying to do. And the disciple, see, uh-huh. you got to see what the devil's trying to do. Yeah. You, 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 you got to see what he's trying to destroy. Uh-huh. You got to see what the devil's trying to tear down. Uh-huh. So they said, uh oh, we've got to guard the man of God uh-huh. into the word. You and y'all got to get out of here. Jesus. And so they got out of there. Uh-huh. Right? So they yeah. could go on and keep on preaching. Go on and keep on going. Right? So Jason had to take the brunt of the punishment. Because they was having a church and this happens. <laughs> right? So they drug Jason out of there. Right? And so and so but Jason understood. That you know that God is on my side, That's yes. right? Right, and so if I if I suffer now, yeah. I'll reign with Him later. Yeah. 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 That's, right. That's the mentality that is going out of the church. Amen. Yeah. That if I give up something now, I'll be rewarded later. Yeah. Somebody say later. 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 Yeah. yeah. It's only what you do for God that matters. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So, so back in the book. Thank you, all readers. Thank you, honey. Help me out. Thank you, Rick. You're awesome. And so, and so, no, you're awesome. Oh, boy. And so, and so, and so, and so, Paul has to get out of Dodge. Yes. But in his mind, he knows he has to return. Because you just can't, now, I want you to know here, when they read, did you know they said, some believe. Some believe. Not everybody gonna believe. Uh-uh. That's right. If you go somewhere and and just one person believe, mm-hmm. then you've done the deal. That's right, Pastor. Right. right. Mm-hmm. That everybody not gonna believe. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. And so there's no need to go and think that everybody go. Some people go for numbers. We went over here and we preached, mm-hmm. and just one person got saved. Well, that's good. One person got saved. That's right. Mm-hmm. Pentecost Sunday, one woman got received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. God be the Lord. That's right. Jesus. Now, now, now. What would have happened if Amanda didn't invite her? Right. She said, family, she said, family and friends. Oh, shut us. Ain't nobody want to go out and invite people before. Nobody comes. comes. I'm not going to invite nobody. I'm not going to invite nobody. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> no one would have missed the blessing. Right. 
But thank God, she was open to receive a God. Yes, Pastor. Amen. So, back in the book of First Thessalonians, we're talking about overcoming Satan's hindrance. He's always hindering somebody. Right. Oh. Come on. Always doing something. Always into something. So, so, um, so, um, Sister, see, I read that again. First uh, Thessalonians chapter two, verse seventeen and eighteen. Read it one more time. Amen. I just want to give you the backstory of where the church started and where yes. Paul was basically had to run out of there after people were being saved. But then he's got to come back because he's got to strengthen the saints. Yes, right. Right. He's got to continue the work. All right. But we, brethren, have been taken away from you for a short time. I want you to underline the word short time. Short time. Mm -hmm. Not in heart, endeavored more eagerly to see your face with great desire. Uh -huh. Therefore, we wanted to come to you, even I, Paul, time and again, but Satan hindered us. I want you to underline the word great desire. And I want you to underline the word once and again. Once and again, Patrick? Yeah. Once and again. Now, Paul realized, the Apostle Paul realized, that he had to get back to Thessalonica. And he kept trying to get there, but things were happening trying to stop him to get there. Yes, sir. You ever something that you want to do for God and things begin to try to block you? Mm -hmm. and things begin to happen. And so, he realized that what was going on was at random. Right. But an attack by Satan, and he called it hindrance. Yes. You got to know who you're dealing with. Right. That's right, Pastor. And he realized that it was spiritual warfare. A lot of times things go on and we don't realize it's the devil. Mm -hmm. sure, and we start blaming people and blaming yes, stuff sir. and blaming mm -hmm. different people. But really it's Satan just trying to hinder you. Mm -hmm. That's right. He's trying to stop you. Mm -hmm. Trying to get you to give up. <laughs> trying to get you to throw in the towel. Yes, sir. Trying to get you to miss what God has for you. Uh -huh. My Lord. Trying to cause you to stop right in the middle before you get your blessing that God has. Yes, sir. That's how he operates. Yes. He hinders. Yep. He hinders you. He wants to hinder you. Amen. That's his that's that's how he operates. Yes. I've got to hinder the people. Yes. And, and if I if they're not spiritual, uh, when, when I try to stop them, they're gonna give up. Because they're gonna say it's too hard. Yes. It's too tough. And, and I don't think this is for me. And I I, I should probably give up because and, and that's how the devil do. Yes. But you got to know who you're dealing Amen. with. Am I right about it? Yes. 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 Lord. Thank you. Oh. Sister Felicia Bacon, the Lord bless you. Come on in. in the name of the Lord. Amen. So, uh, Paul, would you listen to this? We're talking about the Apostle Paul. Not called of men, but called by God. Yes. And talking about one of these apostles, that they're saying they're apostles now. Mm -hmm. And uh, they got a storefront church with four people. Yes, Pastor. Never mm -hmm. been out of the country. No. Never started a work, never no. did another work. No. And they call themselves an apostle. Yes, sir, Pastor. I'm talking about he was a man chosen by God. Chosen by God. Handpicked. Yep. By God. God revealed himself to him. On the road to the master. Yeah. God called him and chose him. Amen. Sent him the straight street. And God said, you're going to go through many things and suffer many things. That's right. right. Said. Mm -hmm. But he is a chosen vessel. That's right. Chosen by me. That's what he told him. He's chosen. And God ordained him and anointed him. Yes, Pastor. Give him revelation. He said, I didn't go up to the other apostles, but I was three years in Saudi Arabia. And I, I, I sat in the desert in caves, and God revealed himself 
his son Jesus to me. Amen. Right? So he had revelatory, revelatory experience with God. Yes. It's nothing like revelatory experience with Amen, God. Amen, Pastor. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, Amen. You, you, you can know you got revelatory experience with God just by the way they talk. Yeah. That's right. Pastor. Right? Amen. 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 Yeah. God, just by the way what comes out of their mouth, right. you know that oh, they, they've been with God. Amen. Why? Because I can feel God coming off of them. Amen. Pastor. I can see God in them. There's a glow on people. Yes, sir. Amen. You got a glow on you because I've been with God. Amen. Right? I, 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 I spoke to him and he talked to me. Amen. Yes. I feel God in here. Amen. Amen. I feel the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel the Lord. Yes. yes. I hope y'all feel the Lord. I feel the Lord. Amen. I feel the Lord. Amen. I feel, the Lord. Amen. I feel him all over me. Amen. And so he realized what the man of the type, but he was an apostle. He had an apostolic ministry. Yes. And uh, he had authority from God. That's right. Authority he got from God. He didn't get it from himself. No. Amen. But he got it from God. But yet he still could be blocked or hindered by the devil. Yes, Pastor. He wasn't above being blocked. No. He wasn't above being tempted, mm -hmm. nor being hindered. That's right. With all that anointing and all that power, Satan was still able to block him. This wasn't the first time that it happened. That's why he said, once and again. Yes. Once and again, the devil that hindered me. Mm -hmm. and I, I'm trying to do something for the kingdom, mm -hmm. but here he come, trying to stop, stop me. Stop him. Yes, sir. I'm trying to get there, mm -hmm. but he's trying to hinder me. I, there's, a, there's a place that I want to get to. Yes, sir. But Satan's trying to stop me. There's power that God wants to release to me. Yes. But the devil is trying to hinder me and stop me from getting there. Don't you know you can feel when the devil's trying oh, to yes. stop you? You yes. can feel that it's demonic. That's, That's right. right. That's right. right. Yes. And, and a lot of times people try to shrug it off. Uh, well, maybe just, no, you're under a demonic attack. Mm -hmm. And Satan's right. trying to hinder you. Amen. Amen. It, it happens a lot. When people first start trying to come to church, yeah, and the devil tell you, no, don't go today, don't get up today, yeah. no, 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 don't go. Okay, no, you're close to getting the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. You should just stay home. That's right. And the devil ever tell everybody stay home? Then you come to church and get blessed. Oh yeah. yeah. Tell you stay home, come by, yeah. and get blessed. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Satan trying to hinder you right. from getting what you need from That's God. Amen. That's right. Trying to hinder you. Come on in, Sister Sheila Reed. Lord bless you, Sister Sheila Reed. Amen. Birthday girl. I had a birthday the other Happy day. Birthday, mm -hmm. Amen. Sheila. Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. Trying to hinder you. Yeah. Amen. Once and again. The most important thing to have is to discern mm -hmm. that Satan is at work. Good God Almighty. I just said something right there. Yeah. See, if, 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 people, if people just realize this in their lives. Uh -huh. That what's at work is not the person. Mm -hmm. What's at work is the devil. Yes, yes. Trying to cause division and separation yes. among the folks. Mm -hmm. If marriage would understand uh, uh, what's going on is not is not the person, it's the devil trying to cause hindrance in the marriage. Marriage is right. long. Amen. People right. realize amen. Amen, it, it, it's not that. It, it's the devil. The devil's trying to hinder me. Yes, sir. It, it's the devil hindering me, don't you know? Is the devil hindering you? And you got mine. You ever thought, man, I'm gonna pray tonight, man? I just want to get together and I just want to pray. Then something come on TV and the devil say, "Oh, your favorite show is on." <laughs> 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 and, then, and then you talk about, man, I know I got to pray one hour, one hour. Man. But you know why? Two hours of TV. Uh, yeah. He just just hindered you. That's good. Yeah. When it come time to pray, hey Amen. You brought up. <laughs> He, he just hindered you. He's just got you. That's true. Yeah, that's, true. that's what he wants to do. Yeah. He wants to stop the people from fulfilling what God wants them to do. Right. So he hinders, he, he tries to hinder Paul from going back to do the work. Yeah. Trying to keep him from him. Well, let, let me tell you something. The devil can hinder. Yes. But he cannot stop. That's right. What God has foreordained to be so. He can delay, 
the sister Nelly, your phone is hot and keeps going off and on. That's the devil in there. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Rebuke that devil. <laughs> he can delay. He can hinder. Yeah. But he cannot right. deny. Right. He don't have that power. Amen. Right? That's right? The only way he has power is that you give it to him when you give up. That's, That's it. Right. Yeah. He just got you. Because mm -hmm. yeah. it got too hard. It, it got crazy. It got, oh, I was over here. He was fighting me over this area. I come over this area. He was there fighting me God. over here. And then and then I come home and my wife, she, 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 not you, baby, somebody else's wife. They look like they had horns on the head. He just fight me with this. He just fight me everywhere, man. You ever said that? He just fight me everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it's on every corner. Yeah, right. You're right. He just fight me everywhere. Uh huh. Hindering me from doing what God wanted right. me to do. That's good, Pastor. So, I got a question. How many of us have ever felt like we're being blocked by the devil? Man. Mm. How many of us have felt like we've been delayed or hindered by Satan? Yeah. You know, you feel like, I just feel like the devil is yeah. trying to stop me. Yeah. I feel like the devil is trying to yes, prohibit me. I just feel like the devil is trying to keep me. Lock where I'm at. Do what the devil tell me he's trying to hinder you. You know how you just be getting your feelings? And the devil's really on you, he's really fighting you. Here's the best way the devil try to hinder you. The devil said, Don't go to church. Yeah. Uh-huh. Stay home. Stay home. You just stay home. Yeah. You're just tired of them people. Mm -hmm. You're tired of all of them. You're right. tired of the pastor. You're tired of all of them. Yeah. I know I'm tired. Pastor Tony. That's right, Pastor. Tired. 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 Hey, spiritual daughter, talk to her. Come on in. Amen. Just tired, tired, and the devil is hindered you. Yeah. And you sitting home with your feelings, and the pastor's still under the anointing. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the people still under the anointing rejoicing. Yeah. Yeah. Right about it. Yeah. 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 He hindered you, he didn't hinder me. He didn't hinder Pastor. <laughs> Man, because God is gonna get his, this thing done through me. That's yeah. right. That's what you're gonna have to say. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He, he, he didn't That's hinder right. me. I I've come to church and preached when I was sick. Yes, you I come to church and preach when things went right. Yes. I come to church and preach when I didn't feel like it. Yes, I come to church and preach, amen, when, 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 when my mind was everywhere. But it's something about when I step in that pool. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Oh, my God. I pray in the anointing of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hey, God, and I yield my vessel to him. I let him take control. Thank you, Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The devil, the devil trying to hinder us. I'm telling you, the devil trying to stop us yes, from getting our, our build, this building that I see. That's right. Right? right. He trying to hinder us. He, he been hindering us for years trying to get a van, but somebody just called me about a van. Come on. You know, yeah. He trying to hinder us. Somebody's trying to hinder us. He knows that if we get that, that we can go pick up folk. That's right. And they're going to come to church. That's right. Yeah. And he knows that, amen, what God is doing, we yeah. can have more prayer time with our own yeah. building. That's right, yeah. Pastor. We can yeah. have more time with our own building. He's trying to hinder, but he's a fool. He's a real because fool. Because I know that God, amen, is on my side. Amen. 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 And when God is tired, he'll loose the blessing. Yeah. 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 And when he loose the blessing, I want to be in position to receive yeah. what God has for me. Oh, God. Slap somebody and tell them, don't you give up. Don't 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 give up. Honestly, what do you do? What do you do when you feel like you're being fought? You feel like you're being blocked? You feel like you're being delayed or hindered by the devil? What do you do? What do you do? You pray. Cry. Huh? I said cry and pray out. Cry and pray. <laughs> <laughs> cry out to the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Cry out to God. Amen. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. That's I it. I like that too. Oh, I man. believe God. I worship God. Amen. 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 Yes. I really wanted that. Yeah. And I really was expecting that, but the devil hindered me from getting that. I'm gonna yes. still bless the Lord. That's right. Amen. And I know what God has for me is for me. Yeah. I know what God has for me is for me. Amen. 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 Amen.
They give up yeah. because it's too hard. Yes, they give up, amen, because they don't see nothing happening. No. They give up, amen, because it seems like, man, I'm fighting over here. I'm fighting over there. Yeah. Fighting over here. I feel like the woman on the color purple. Oh, my God. <laughs> <life. laughs> yeah, you better know how to fight. That's right. You better keep on fighting. That's right. Amen. You better fight. You better fight. That's what you got to do. Yeah. But I know some people lose it. Yes, they do. And they lose it, amen, when it gets difficult. Difficult, yeah. Yes, I know. I know the devil speaks to your mind. I know the devil tells you, yeah. what's it worth? I don't need all this drama. Right. I don't need all this trouble. That's good, I just go back and be by myself in the shell. I can just do nothing. That's so good, Pastor. I can just fruit. come church, yep. sit there, look up. <laughs> I don't have to be responsible. I can just sit back. I don't have to be, I didn't ask for this. I don't want this. I can just sit there and we just, just do what we want to do. Oh, right. my. Right. And so then the oh devil my. just got you. Yep. And you'll never obtain no. to the level that God has for you. Right, Pastor. Never. You, you, I want you to listen. I want you to understand this. When David, King David, when David was a little shepherd boy, about 13 years old, he was anointed king yep. over Israel. Mm. Yes. The prophet come down and took a horn of oil, Samuel did it, and he poured it on his head. Yes. God said, I want him. I chose him king over Israel. After the anointing was still running down David's head, David didn't go straight to the throne. Uh -uh. David went back with the sheep. That's right. Because getting to the point where God wants you is a process. Yes. And yes. God is teaching them. It's a, That's good you're not going to get there overnight. Yes. No. I mean, it's a process. Right. David had to fight bears. He had yep. to fight lions. Yep. He had to fight Goliath. He had to fight Saul. He had to fight the Philistines. He had to do nothing but all his life. He had to fight the whole one. Until, Lord bless you, Sister Gloria, until the time was right. Yes, Pastor. And they placed their crown on his head. Yes, sir. He was already king at 13. Wow. Yep. But it didn't come to fruition until years later. Right. But he did not give up in the process. Right. What he did, Brother Pedro, was wrote the book of Psalms. Yeah. I will lift up my eyes and see the hands which come in my help. My help come from the Lord. The faith of heaven and earth. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Somebody say yeah. hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 I got to encourage you. Don't you give up. Yeah. Right. Because it's gotten a little hard. Yeah. That's right, Pastor. Amen. Because folk, amen. Folk, folk ain't paying you no attention. Mm -hmm. Don't you it's give hard up. You're doing right. Don't you amen. give up. It's worth it. That's, That's right, Pastor. Right. It's worth it. Amen. You're doing this for the kingdom of That's God. That's right, Pastor. Amen. You're not doing it for people. Nope. Yep. You're doing it that yes. God uh, placed it on your heart to do. Yeah. You're doing it, amen, because God's giving you a reward. Amen. 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 I don't preach for people. I preach because I want to preach right. God. Yeah. I, I, I want to preach. I don't care if nobody would clap or shout or do nothing. That's I feel right. good about myself. Yeah. I can yeah. go yeah. home. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Pour out. Amen. Yeah. But I feel good about yeah. myself. Yeah. I can do the best that I can do. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. People's hands have to part. Don't move me. I like that part. But yeah. move me is the spirit of God. And God told yeah. me to preach this. That's right. Lord. Preach this. I said, yes, sir. I get him not preaching. Amen. Yes, sir. I know that he's what and he said, Well, who am I gonna do? When you get up and preach it, because you're so obedient to me, I'm gonna anoint you with power. Amen. Amen. To preach it. Amen. And when you're preaching, everybody's gonna see that I'm with you. Amen. That's what God does for me. Amen. You cannot deny this anointing. You cannot deny this anointing. Because it's home. And I feel it home. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. It was a song that said, You can't make me doubt. Because I know too much about it. That's right. You can't make me doubt God. Nope. Amen. And so I'm not going to quit. No way. Right. Nope. Felt like throwing in the towel. Mm -hmm. Right, Pastor. Felt like, everybody ever felt like giving up? Yeah, yeah. Right. I felt like throwing in the towel. I felt like, man, I do all this and these people. 
man, I just need to go somewhere. I can start another work somewhere. I can do a whole lot. I have an international ministry. I can go anywhere. Right. But 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 I'm not gonna throw in the towel. That's right. Pastor. I can't Amen. throw in the towel. Amen. Just because the devil's trying to stop me, he can't stop me. No. He can hinder me, but he right. can't stop me. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Strips coming. Feel your strips coming. Mark, you see that? Feel my strips coming. Gosh, you see that? Feel my strips coming. Feel my strips coming. I can do all three. Yes, you cry. They give me the strips. Direction from Citrus, don't you listen to me? When you get direction from God, yes. God gives you direction. When God gives you a plan, yes. when God puts something in your heart, yes. when God promises you something, yes. then the enemy's job is to hinder you yes. from going to get you to give up. Because yes. he can't stop it. Right. And I'm going to show you. In the book of, of Mark, chapter 6 and verse 45, Brother Pedro. I want you to read Mark 6, I want you to read verse 45, 46, and 47, and then Brother Mark's going to read uh, 48 and 40, Brother Perry's going to read 45 and 46, Mark's going to read 47 and 48, and Sister Latasha's going to read 49 and 50, Mark chapter 6. I want you to listen to this. I want you to see God give the disciples some direction. And straightway he constrained his disciples to get into the ship. So straightway he took them to get in the ship. Mm -hmm. And go to the other side before un, uh, unto Bethesda. So he gives them direction. Yes, sir. Yes. Glory to God. So when he gives them direction, he gives them purpose. Mm, come on. Uh, uh, you got a purpose. That's right, Pastor. Amen. Watch this. While he sent away the people. And when he had sent them away, he departed into the mountain to pray. So he gave them directions to go to the other side. Go to the other side. Yeah. I, I'm testing you. Yeah. I'm trying you. Yeah. And I'm purposely going to go to the mountain to pray. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when Edom was come, the ship was in the midst of the sea, and he alone on the land. And he saw them toiling in, the ro in, in rowing. But the wind was contrary unto them. And about the fourth watch of the night, he cometh unto them, walking upon the sea, and would have passed by them. Yes, so he told them to go, mm -hmm. but they were being hindered yeah. by the wind. Yeah. And they were totally not making any progress. <laughs> Glory be to God. Right? Because they got a word from the Lord. Yes. And the devil will always try to hinder you when you got a word from God. Yes. yes. Go ahead. But when they saw him walking upon the sea, they supposed it had been a spirit, and cried out. For they all saw him, and were troubled. And immediately he talked with them, and saith unto them, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. So he watched them for a period of time, being hindered. Yes, Pastor. And when the time was right, mm -hmm. they were ruined. They didn't give up. Uh -uh. But they weren't making any progress. No. And he watched them for a while. Another uh, uh, a writer says, I think it's in Luke or Matthew, says that he came on the fourth watch. So he watched them all night long, <coughs> struggling, yeah. being right. hindered by the mm -hmm. devil. Right. And right. as he watched them, then he saw them. He would come walking out and help them out. Amen. You're coming to the rescue. That's why the devil could only hinder you for so long. Right. The Lord will come to your rescue. Yes, yes, you're coming to your rescue. Verse 51. Here's what happened. Verse 51. Verse 51. Here's what happened. 
And he went up unto them into the ship, and the wind ceased, and they were sore amazed in themselves beyond measure and wonder. Yes. Another one of the, the disciples writes and says that when he got into the boat, he rebuked the wind and the waves. So what was hindering them was not natural. Uh -huh. mm. It was demonic. Uh -huh. That's, right. That's why he rebuked the wind. The wind was brought on by Satan. Yes. Because when you read the whole story, you'll find out they went to the other side of the Isle of Gennesaret. And there came to them a man out of the tombs. Yes. And he did not want the disciples that cast the demons out of the man. That's right. The Lord was trying them. But he had no other choice. And he would keep sitting the wind down the river. To hinder them yeah. from getting to the other side of purpose. Uh, Glory to God. That's why Jesus rebuked. Anytime you see the Lord rebuking something, it's the mind. Yes. yes. Amen. Until he rebuked the winds and the waves. Yes. Everything became still. And then you read the story, you go home and read night, they made it to the other side, you see what happened. There was they fought some demonic warfare. And Jesus calls them to get to the other side. I don't know how the devil's hindering you tonight, but God's oh, word will tell you for you to know that he's getting ready to get you to the other side. Oh, my God. I'm going to tell you a quick story. How much time I got? I got 20 times. So, here's a quick story. I'm going to give you four points before we leave. So, here's my story. So, uh, I went to Nigeria, talking about being hindered. I went to Nigeria. Uh, the first time I went to Nigeria, me and my former pastor, we were, the Lord was blessing, we were preaching, God was manifesting his power. The first time I stepped in Nigeria was on the rainy season. And uh, we flew 23 hours and landed and uh, Dirty, you needed to get, need to sleep, need a room. Mm -hmm. the, the Nigerian pastor met us in the hotel room and told my pastor, he said, uh, Sir, and they speak with a British English, uh, mm -hmm. Sir, uh, we've got to go. The people have been waiting in the church for four hours. I got the time wrong. They've been waiting. I said, Woo. I said to myself, I'm glad I ain't got to preach. I traveled 23 hours, 24 hours, and then I preached to a bunch of people who sitting in church for four hours. Oh, wow. And so, and so my pastor said, Can't you? Can't you, uh, can't we go to the hotel and take a shower and change our clothes? No, sir, please, sir. The people have been waiting. We've got to go, sir. I mean, it's hot. I mean, it is oh, hot in Nigeria. Sure. It's <laughs> hot. Uh, uh, they have no emission laws. Like they had no Cadillac converters. Truck <laughs> fumes were everywhere, and I couldn't breathe. And I thought, what am I riding up from the airport? I thought, why am I away? <laughs> and so I, I got to the church. And uh, Pastor Collins said at the time, <laughs> brother, you gonna preach. <laughs> I wanted to fight him. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> I took my Bible <laughs> and I walked up to the podium and the Lord said, preach on the ring. And I preached I you did. on the hand yes. that the prophet Elijah saw there was a cloud of the size of a man's hand. Man's hand yeah. wow. And he said, go up seven times. And begin to rain. I preached. This is the dry season now. And I said, I want you to know that God is able to make it rain right now. And the sky said, crack, crack, boom, boom. It'll be in the rain. Oh, yeah. Those wow. people tore that church up. Oh, yeah. They yeah. shouted in there, man. They went home. Yeah. And the bishop told me, the, the pastor, the minister told me, Pastor Mazza, he's a bishop now. He said, I know you're a man of God. You traveled 24 hours. Yep. Didn't even know you was going to preach. Got to the church. Took your Bible, no notes, preached, and the power of God back in yeah. the yeah. 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 Glory to God. That's why I trust Him with everything. Glory to God. I trust Him with everything. Yeah. I trust Him with everything. Yeah. Yeah. With 
Amen. Amen. everything. I trust Him. Amen. I trust Him with my life. Yes, Pastor. Amen. I trust the Lord. I believe the Lord with every fiber in yes. my body, Amen. in my being. Yes. I believe God. I believe Him. Amen. Yeah. 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 Amen. I believe him. Asante, I believe him. Yes, I believe the Lord. <clears throat> so, I to make about hindrance. He preached the gospel. He drove all the way down six hours to Port Harcourt. We pulled over by the army at AK-47 yeah. and pulled over. The devil tried to hinder the work of God. Got robbed. Got robbed. Got robbed yeah. and stole $400. Mm -hmm. Amen. Got to leave there on our way leaving there. We we're about to get leave the hotel. Talk about hindrance. They called two cabs. It was Pete, JP was with us. And uh and uh we went to get in the cab. JP was ready to go to jail because because you know, JP is a Nigerian. Right. And uh they saw him and they took him. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, we're trying to get out of there. And so Pastor Collins gets in the car with some more people, and, some, and we get in another car. And, and we was going to leave the hotel, and the, the, our car, the tires went pop, 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 pop. Cool. Every car in the car busted. So we had to call for another car. Oh when that car came, their car tires busted. Pop, 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 pop. And we realized this is the money. Yes. And the enemy's trying to keep us sure and not cause us to miss our flight. Yeah. Amen. And so we, we got another cab. And so <laughs> Pastor Condom pulls off. And we're in the cab behind him. And we're traveling. And all of a sudden, we go down the street. And there's thousands of Nigerians. And Pastor Collins swerved through. They close it on me and JP's car. And starts rocking our car. <laughs> and I'm saying, we're going to die over here. And some kind of way, the driver gets down the side sidewalk and, and, and able to get us out yes. and get to the airport. And we get to the airport. The plane is right there. Huh. It's sitting there. We can see the plane. Yeah. The plane ain't supposed to leave till 11 p.m. that night. He get there at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And they say, you missed your boarding time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they say, you're going to cost y'all $400 to get on the plane. Oh my God. The man took the money and went up the steps and shut the door and robbed us for $400. Oh, wow. Then the plane... <laughs> <laughs> Leaves us there. Oh Pastor Colin goes off. <laughs> I said, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the hotel. Yeah. And we're going to wait. He said, I don't think our tickets are refundable. I said, well, somebody has to send us some money. <laughs> and the next day, we got back to the hotel. And uh, we were able to get our tickets to fly out the next day. <laughs> See, when the devil is trying to fight you, yes. his purpose was to discourage us not to come back again. Yes, sir. But I went back three more times. Yes. 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 God got my back. Let the devil turn you around. Oh, that's so good. No, don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand. I, I know how I know how church people are. Jesus. Every one of y'all in here, at one time or another, had thought, "Man, I ought to leave the church." Because <laughs> 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 the devil is trying to hinder you. Right. Sir. Right. And as soon as something go, don't go your way, I know how y'all are. Y'all, some things don't go your way. You get mad, and then you, oh man, oh, I'm just gonna stay home. Well, if you stay home, he can hinder you no more. He got you where he wants you. That's right, right. That's right. right. But as long as you fight back against that devil, yeah. you have to fight back. Yeah. 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 I can stay home too. Yeah. I can stay home too. Yeah. Mm. That's good. He don't tell you that. Yeah. You don't stay home, Pastor. I seen, seriously, I seen people leave our ministry. Yes. And I seen God replace with other people. That's right. Because mm -hmm. God's work will be done. Amen. It will be done. Amen. 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 Right from the two scriptures that we read. Glory to God. The first thing is to know and understand 
that the hindrance is from Satan. Paul said, Satan has hindered us. I wanted to do what I had to do, but I'm fighting the devil. I know that God is with me. I know this is supposed to happen, but the devil is trying to cause me to not trust God. He's trying to hinder me. He's trying to cause me to give up on the middle of the mission. First thing is to know that the hindrance is from Satan. Here's one clue. If it's stopping you from doing God's will or following the word of God, it's a hindrance from Satan. Yes. If it's stopping you from doing God's will or obeying the word of God, that hindrance is coming from the devil. Trying to hinder you. Right? Yes, sir. One, number two. You must maintain your faith and never get frustrated and give up. Paul says, we have been taken from you for a short time. That's, what he said. That's faith. Mm -hmm. This is not something that is eternal or forever. I can't come to you now, mm -hmm. but he's only hindering us for a short, a short period of time. time. Yes, sir. But I will get back to you. Mm -hmm. You've got to have that faith. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You've got to be able to say that whatever I'm going through is not permanent. Yeah. I under Paul understood by God's grace that he would overcome the roadblock in his life. Yes, Pastor. Amen. He said for a short time. It looks like he's winning, but only for a short time. Because God's going to open up a door and make a way Amen. when it seems to be no way. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. So, the Bible says we must, to have faith, fight the good fight of faith. Yes. Yeah. you gotta fight. You got to have some fight in you. Yeah. Right. You, 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 you can't just want to fight on your job <laughs> physically. You can't just want to fight your husband or your wife when they come home. Hey, hey. <laughs> you got to fight the devil. That's right. That's right. Amen. You got to have some fight in That's you. That's right, Pastor. Amen. Don't give up. Amen. Yeah. Because things ain't going the way you think. No, you got to fight. That's right. That's right. Yes. You got to fight. Amen. Yeah. You got to fight Amen. against adversity. Amen. That's yeah. right. You got to. You got to quit you. Be strong. Be like men. The Bible says. You got to fight. You got to tell that devil. No, 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 devil. I see what you're trying to do. And I see you're trying to hinder me, but I know what God's going to do. Anybody know what God's going to do? I know what God's going to do. I see what you're trying to do, but I know what God's going to do. Amen. Yes, Asante, you will overcome the roadblocks in your life. you got to fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Lay hold on eternal life. We talk about eternal life here. That's right, Pastor. We talk about hearing the Lord say, well done. Amen. We ain't talking about just no giving up on a job too hard, boss on me all the time, I'm going to quit. <laughs> Double this a lot. It's good pass, right, man. I told my boss, God bless me with this job. I'm not right. working Cisco. God bless me with this job, mm -hmm. and I'll be here long when you go. I watch all of them leave. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. When my time for me to leave, God released me. I want yeah. to do something. Else. Amen. But as long as God had me there, amen, I told him, I will be here. You be home. I'll watch you walk out the door. <laughs> God bless me. But anybody believe that? I believe that. Amen. Now, you can't talk like that you being disobedient to your boss, nasty, no, no, and all no. like that because right. that ain't what God wants you to do. Right. You're supposed to be an right. example. You're supposed to be respectful. Walk That's up right, right for the man. Be an example to the people. Yes, sir. You're not talking about him hauling him, 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 and all this stuff. Clear <laughs> my face. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't going to the top here. I ain't. <laughs> God ain't about that fool's is up. <laughs> God ain't about them. That's right. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be here till God let me go flim flam, and you ain't gonna do a flim flam about it. I'm gonna be here forever. And don't you worry about it. I serve my God. And then you can say, uh, uh, Brother Pedro, come to the office. Yeah, here's a pink stuff for me. Yeah, yeah. Guess God ready for me to go. No, you got yourself out of here. And I'm right about it. Yeah. Yeah. So true. So true. <laughs> I'm right about it. Point number three. Paul was committed 
to fight back. Y'all got what? What? Y'all, y'all got to have some fight in you. What my fighters at in here? You got it. Come on. The devil blocking you from getting what God has for you. The devil blocking your children. The devil trying to block your families. The devil trying to stop you from being all that God has for you. You know, promotion don't come from the east or the west. Promotion comes from God. And if you, if, if, if I said this script a couple of months ago. If you get tired of the footmen, yeah, running with the footmen, yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do when the horsemen come? Do horsemen, right? If you're tired running with the little footmen, you can't contain or contend with the horsemen. No. God wants you to get the victory over the footmen. That's right, Pastor. Yeah. Then He'll put you to another level. We can yes, fight against the world. You give it up on the usher board. <laughs> Somebody looked at you wrong. <laughs> you, you, you can't get past the usher board. <laughs> right? Devil can chew with the usher board. And then you talk about, oh, come on, devil. Yeah. Come on. The devil said, oh, get away with it. <laughs> Lord. Hmm. Paul was committed to fight back against the works of the devil. Yeah. Watch this. Any way that he could. That's right. Any way that he could. Paul said, I know you're trying to block me. I know you ran me out of Thessalonica. And I know you're trying to block me from coming back. But here's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm going to write a letter. Uh -huh. And I'm going to call it the letter of 1 Thessalonians. Yes. And since I can't get there, I'm going to write to the people. And I'm going to encourage them on in the Lord. Because this is only temporary, but I will be back. Right. But I'm going to let you know that I love you. Amen. I'm going to let you know that I heard of your good yeah. work. Yeah. And the devil's trying to stop me, but I'm writing a letter. Yeah. So you've got to yeah. use your mind and oh, be creative yeah. how to fight that devil. Yeah. Yeah. Right? He's blocking you on this way. Ask God, God, give me, give me, a, give me a plan. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a strategic plan. The devil's trying to hinder what you want done. But give me a strategic plan to circumvent the devil. Yes. Then the scriptures come alive. Right? Yeah. Come here, babe. Let me show this real quick. Uh, uh, come here, Teresa. Then the scripture comes to lie. God, give me a plan. I know the devil's fighting me. That's right. And I know I'm supposed to do what God wants me to do. And he's fighting me on every hand and every level. And so God, give me a plan. And then when God gives you the plan, and you work the plan out, and then when the plan is working out, you say, come on, God, give me something strategic. Yeah. Give me something positive. Here's what I'm going to do. God, I'm going to write a letter to him. Write this letter to him. And then when Paul gets the letter, Paul gets strong. He said, because I can do all things. That's right. Through Christ. Through Christ. Right. That gives me the strength. Yes. God, give me a plan to defeat the works of the Amen. devil. Because yeah. I discern that he's trying to block me. Yes. And then God will give you a plan. So I got to serve him with the devil. Hear what Jesus did. Yes. What about the Jesus? They took Jesus up on the hill. And they wanted to throw Jesus down the hill. Because Jesus was preaching the word to him, they wanted to kill Jesus, try to throw him down the hill. And the Bible says Jesus moved out between them. Yeah. No, you're not gonna throw me down the hill. I know how to move in and out from that devil. Yeah, you gotta know how to circumvent the devil. You gotta learn how to move in and out from that devil. You gotta learn how to move in and out from folks. You gotta learn how to move in and out from people who's trying to stop what God wants to do. Y'all are wonderful. Y'all are wonderful. Y'all are wonderful. You got to learn how to move. That's why you got to learn how to move. Yeah. Amen. Learn how to move. Amen. Glory to God. Yes. You got to have a plan. Yes. That's right. Instead of sitting around wanting to quit. That's right. You got to say, God, give me another plan. They're trying to handle what plan. you want to do. Amen. You got to know how to move in and out of people. Yes. Amen. So they can't stop you from doing right. God's will. Oh, this is good stuff right here. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, yes. He's going to work it for Adonio. He's going to work that plan for her in the name of the Lord. Amen. Here's number four. He wrote the letter. He yeah, something. He said, okay, you trying to stop me? I'm writing a letter. You trying to make me quit? I'm going to go witness to somebody. Uh -huh. You trying to make me give up? I'm going to go do this. I got another plan. Yes. Right? I got another plan. I got a plan. Yes. Amen. God, give me a plan to be victorious. Yes. Here's the fourth one. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. No matter how the hindrance come, no matter how tough that it gets, keep going forward. Amen. Keep
keep going forward. Y'all listen to me. Keep going forward. Whether you're being hindered or whether you're not. Keep moving forward. Don't let him stop your progress. Ask God to show you how to defeat the devil at his own tactics. Ask God to give you the wisdom to fight against the devil. Amen. Amen. You, 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 you don't give up. You don't think about turning around. The Bible says no man puts his hand to the plow and right. turns around and give up. It's Amen. fit for the kingdom. That's, right. That's why he's trying to hinder you. He yep. wants you to let go of the plow. Right. But I refuse to let go of the plow. Right. Whatever Amen. God put in my heart, I'm going to keep on working. Yeah. Tell somebody keep on working. Keep on working. Keep going forward. Yeah. Amen. Don't give up. Don't give up. Yeah, God, God, glory to God. Don't you quit. Keep going forward. Hey, hey, back as a don't be like Lot's wife. Turn around. Turn to the pillar of salt. Keep working for the kingdom. Keep working. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yeah, there's a crown waiting for you. That's right. Glory to God. There's a well done. Yeah. The devil will try to frustrate you. He'll try to frustrate you. The devil will have. Five people come to church, yes, and none of them come back. Yeah, to have we put on the event at the at the thing, hand out all those cards, spend all that money, nobody came. Yeah, that's all right. There is right. That's all right. That's all right because, hey Amen. God knows my heart. He sure right. does. Right. So the devil will cause you to look at those things. Yeah. If you look at it through the natural eye, you 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 get you get unsettled. Good you, 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 you get, right. you get, let me tell you, let me tell you what, the, I was saying it for Sunday, but let me just let it out right now. Let me tell you what the, what the hyphen group did. The hyphen group got together and they raised almost $600 for the so, so, the devil, the devil, he don't like that. He don't like that. He don't like that because he said, well, what are they doing? They making money for the kingdom? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are they doing? Those them and those who took orders, those who helped, those who, who gave donations. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? They trying to help the kingdom? Yeah. They trying to help the man of God? I've got to try to stop them. I got to try to the devil is a liar. Amen. 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 That's why that's why we need good wholesome sound teaching. That's yeah. right. So, so, so the devil don't get you to quit that's right. in the middle of what you're doing. That's right. You know, Get you off course because things that work out the way you did, you know you're being blocked. You can feel it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he tried to right. disappoint you. Well, you might as well give up. That wasn't for you. You might as well let that go. Yeah. Try again. This ain't the one for you. The devil told me when we with this. The devil told me when I was tired for the Holy Ghost. I was tired for the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And I was tired. I was calling on the Lord. No, I'm tired. Y'all know what tired is. <laughs> I don't know why they call it waiting. Wait, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and and I, I want y'all to listen to me. I was, I was praying to God for the Holy Ghost. Uh-huh. And uh and the, 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 you know how it is. The, the power of God came on me. Yeah. And I was praying and I was crying. And I was saying, Jesus, 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 calling for my lips, but not my heart. Jesus, uh -huh. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Me and sit in that car. And so all of a sudden I call it, you get dry. You know what I mean? When you get dry, yeah. tears dry up. Yeah. <laughs> you don't feel the Lord no more. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 You dry up. And they talk about, oh, call on you saying, Jesus. <laughs> and then your mind starts to say, uh, this ain't going to happen today. Right. <laughs> and the mind, the devil, the devil trying to hinder you. Yeah. Right. This ain't going to happen today. And then he will tell me, this ain't for you. And then and then that fool made a mistake, Brother Lorenzo. He says, stop and try it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And when he says, stop and try it tomorrow, Come on, Pastor. Uh, yes, glory. Yeah. Something clicked in my mind. Yeah. This fool is trying to stop me from getting the Holy Ghost. There you go. And I went in again. Jesus, 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 Amen. Jesus, Jesus. And within 30 seconds, God oh, filled me with the Holy Ghost. Lord, yeah. yeah. oh, yes, yes. I was that close and he tried to stop me. That's right. That's good, Pastor. My Lord. He said, try it tomorrow. Mari promised nobody. That's right. Mari right. right. promised nobody. That's right. And I no. did not give up. Nope. The Lord filled me. And the thing about that is this. When he filled me, he filled me with power. Power. And authority. Yep. And 24, almost 25 years ago, That's right. January the 31st, the yep. Lord filled me with the Holy Ghost. I feel more of his power. Amen. Yeah. More of his strength yeah. than I felt 25 years ago. That's right, God. Amen. Why? Because I am not a quitter. Amen, that's right. Yeah, that's 
for them. That's right. Amen. Joseph said, although you're slavery, yet, but I trust in God. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Things are not going to always go our way. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to turn around. Yeah. No. That's right. The devil might be hindering, but it ain't going to work. That's right. right. And then I want to release this to somebody. Yes. The devil got you down. Uh huh. It's got you discouraged a little. Yeah. Because you entered into the fight. When you entered into the fight, you thought everything was going to go smooth. But you wasn't, you wasn't thinking about how the devil was going to try to fight you back and hinder you. So now you, you come up against a little bit of obstacles. Yeah. Yes, wow. guys, that's good. You thought, amen, this was going to be easy. Yeah. Amen. You thought that, amen, I mean, I, God going to bless me. Oh, glory be to God. Jeremiah. Jeremiah, when God blessed Jeremiah, filled him with the Holy Ghost and called him a prophet. Jeremiah said, God, you deceived me, and I've been deceived. Yeah. He said, I thought that, amen, that everything was going to be good when you called me. But every time I prophesy, amen, I'm prophesying doom and gloom and everything and everybody's yeah. against me. Amen. And I, I refuse to speak in your name. But he said, but it was like fire. Shut up in my bones. I got to keep on doing what God wants right. me to do. Amen. You thought it was going to be easy. Yeah. A lot of people, let me take this little leadership class. A lot of people want positions in the church right. and leadership positions and be in charge and do things, that's great. Amen. But a lot of people can't handle the attack. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good pastor. Come on. A lot of people want to be out front. Yes. Amen. You want to worship. Amen. Good, but pastor. can you handle the attack? Come on. Amen. You, 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 you want to preach, Jesus. but can you handle the attack? Good, Amen. You you want to be on the deacon board and you want to be on the trustee board, but can you handle the attack? Good, Amen. Jesus. Because the devil's gonna come after you. Yes. He's gonna get you to but can you handle the attack? Yeah. Can you handle the devil? Amen. He'll fight you to the core. Yeah. But you have to have something in you yeah. that say, I refuse right. to quit. Yeah. Amen. I refuse to quit. Yeah. 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 I know something that the devil does not know. He's the liar. That's right. <laughs> but it is impossible for God to lie. That's right. And if God yeah. gave it to me, <laughs> no matter how long that it takes, yeah. glory be to God, yeah. this thing is going to come to yeah. yeah. It's got to come to pass. Yeah. It must come to pass. Yeah. Yeah. It's self. Yeah. 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 I refuse to talk to the yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 My God. God. He will supply all money. Oh, yes, according to his riches and glory. Right. Oh. oh, it's gonna get tough. They beat the disciples. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Paul was shipwrecked. Among false brothers. Yeah. Stabbed in the back. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Lied upon. But they lied on me. Boy, they lied on me real good. They lied on me. They lied on me that they brought Pedro. They lied on me. They, they sure lied on me. But nothing deterred me to turn around from That's what God right. was doing. No they way. lied on me. I said, uh oh, God, you made the blessing. Don't you get distracted. Because right. God is getting ready to bless us. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Lord, we're going to bring people in the church. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Satan will try to hinder you. Yep. Yes, he will. But he can't stop. But God not stop. That's, that's right. That's, yeah. that's a good place for God to bless you. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's stand. Hallelujah. Let's stand. I give you four points. Thank you, yeah. Jesus. To overcome Satan's hindrance. Thank you, Lord. Four points, Thank Brother Renzo. Lord. Thank you. To overcome his hindrance. You should have wrote him down. Because when the devil get on you, don't come back to me and say, Pastor, what'd you say? Go back on Facebook. I know the devil's trying to stop the people of God. That's right, Pastor. God has raised up an army. Yes. God woke me up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Amen, morning. Pastor. That's right. He woke me up at 3. And uh, I tried to lay there on him. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't let me lay there. He, he wouldn't let me lay there. He, he wouldn't let me. I said, man, I got to get up and go pray. I wouldn't talk to the Lord. Yes, yeah. sir. The Lord said, what he's about to do, every ear can tell him. Mm -hmm. My Lord. And God's going to bless his people. Jesus. Because right. yeah. it's soon to come back. Jesus. It sure is. Don't you let the devil stop you nope. from fulfilling Amen. God's purpose and plan on your life. Yeah. That's right, Pastor. Because of a little bit of adversity. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible says a man who quits during the time of his adversity, his uh -oh. strength is small. That's right. Because he loses his joy. Yes. You've got to go through it with joy. Amen. Oh, God. Amen. You've got to go through it with joy. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Not regret the joy. Yeah. Yeah. The joy. Amen. Because he's tested.
testing you. Yes. And you can't go to the next level until nope. you pass the test where you're at now. That's right. In the name of the Lord. Amen. Overcoming his hindrance. Amen. Amen. It won't work. So mm. here's what you're doing. All you are going through something. The devil's trying to hinder you. Yes. First of all, what I want you to do, I want you to get relief from yourself. I want you to say, Amen. God. 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 Give me a strategic plan. Give me a strategic plan. Amen. Yes. Give me a plan. Yes, Lord. Then I want you to tell the Lord, 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 Lord forgive me. Forgive me. me. Because I almost was thinking of giving up. Uh -huh. Almost thinking of giving up. Oh, glory. But you sent your word. But you sent your word. Yeah. Hey, glory. Amen. Hallelujah. And your word strengthened me. And your word strengthened me. Amen. And I feel strong and now. I feel strong now. So I tell the devil. I so look at me. I tell the devil. I want you to look at me. I tell the devil. I tell the devil. Tell the devil. <laughs> You're trying to hinder me. You're trying to hinder me. But you can't stop. But you can't stop what God, what God has placed in me. Has placed in me. Oh, oh yeah, give the Lord a hand clap. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I feel like going on. Yeah, I feel like going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I feel like going on. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 I feel Hallelujah. like giving him the glory. Bless Lord God, Jesus. Sister Latasha. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Sister Brenda. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, God. Jesus. Sheila. Thank you, Jesus. Natalie and Beverly. Mike. Hallelujah. Kevin. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Angie. Yes. Becca. Thank you, Lord. Devin. Jesus. Those who are watching. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your people. Hallelujah. Brother Bell, Lord God. Touch him. Thank you, Lord God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Calls them to triumph. Yes, God. In the name of the Lord. The hand that we're holding, God, we press for the truth. We press persistent. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. An anointing in that hand. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. To keep moving you forward. Yes, Lord. By the grace and blessings of the Lord. For God said, I know your heart. And I know what I put in you. And God says, I see your tears. Yes, and I see your frustration. But God says, Hallelujah. Hey, I'm coming. Hallelujah. To your rescue. I will strengthen your hands. And I will strengthen your heart. And I will make you strong again. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Jesus, For 21 days, he waited on his answer. Mm -hmm. And when the angel showed up, Michael, Jesus, he said to him, Jesus. I was fighting against the king of Jesus. Prince of Persia. Thank you, Lord. The Prince of Persia, I mean, Gabriel, Gabriel was fighting against the Prince of Persia. Yes. And the Prince of Persia was hindering uh, uh, Gabriel from bringing the message to Daniel. Jesus. So God dispatched Michael the archangel. Yes, Lord. And while Michael was fighting with the yes. Satan, Hallelujah. the prince of Persia, Gabriel was able to be loose to give the message. Yes, His hindrance will only work for a moment. Mm -hmm. But when God wants to get you something, yes. there's nothing can stop God Hallelujah. to get it to you. Hallelujah. What God wants to give to you is perseverance. Yes. He wants you to persevere. Yes. He wants you to be strong in yes. him. Yes. 
and the power of the mouth. Don't you give up. Hallelujah. Don't you give up on God. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank that hand that you're holding. So Tell him I pray, I pray for the spirit, for the spirit of perseverance. Of perseverance. You will make it. You will make, make it. it. You won't give up. You, you won't, won't give up. up. And you'll bless the Lord. And you will bless, bless the Lord, Lord while you're going through it. While you're going through it. Then I'm going to loose your hand. And I'm going to loose your hand. So you can bless the so Lord. So you can bless the Lord. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for your power. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Honor and praise. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hey, God, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. For ministering to the hearts of the saints. Yes, Lord. I pray for the anointing. Yes, Lord. Through the word that you released on them on today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hey, God. I feel it, God, deposit on good soil. Thank you, Lord. And God will be ever mindful to bless your holy name for what you're doing in our lives and in this ministry. God, we're dependent upon one another to be strong in you. We're dependent upon one another, God, to walk and work together. To God, to hold on to truth and righteousness. God, don't let the devil use us as a hindrance. But let you use us, God, that we get the glory out of our lives. We are victorious. Bless the people. As we travel home, may your blood cover us. Hallelujah. May your spirit give us peace. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your power. Protect us as we travel home. Bless those, Lord, that you don't see in attendance. Give us strength in the name of the Lord. We honor you and we give you glory. Sister Lindsay, I'm praying for you. Amen. And I told you what the Lord told me to tell you, but I'm praying for you. Amen. That you hear the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. Lord, we love you and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Greet somebody from the Lord.